It's not often that you can find amazing pieces of furniture from the thrift store for $10, but that's how much this chair cost, and it was so cute. But you can see it needed a lot of work. I'm Serena Apia from thriftdiving.com, and in this video, we're gonna walk through exactly how I turned this really cute stool into something quite amazing. So the first thing we needed to do was to remove the top part from the base, set the base aside. We will be doing something with that later and remove all the staples. We need this fabric to create a new pattern. But here's the thing about upholstery. This can be very expensive when you're buying new cushions, new fabric. So whenever possible, try to, number one, save your old pieces of fabric that you're removing so that you can use it as a template that will help to correctly buy the amount of fabric that you need. And secondly, try to reuse the cushions. Now, I will admit sometimes they can be pretty dirty, but if you spray them down with a disinfectant, like I'm doing here, and then putting them in the sun. It should get rid of any odor. Uh, you know, if it's something that's really nasty, by all means, definitely replace that. But if you can reuse it, try to do that. Use a seam ripper, open up those seams, and get some gorgeous fabric. This is a brilliant, beautiful, I just love this purple. It's velvet. It's a really nice, luxurious fabric. You're going to want to make sure that you cut this out, leaving enough for seam allowance. Now this already has the seam allowance in it, but typically you want half an inch to five eighths of an inch. And all the pieces that you remove, be sure to cut them as well. Now here I'm actually creating piping. There is piping that goes around the cushions and I've got a special piping foot, which makes it super easy. To attach the piping, I sandwiched it in between the right sides of the fabric, which you see right there in between the two pieces. And then I used the same presser foot, since there's cording in there, and I attached it all together, and you see that the cording is in between. Now there were some other side pieces that I need to attach together, and once I sewed them, I opened it up and attached it to the other side of the seat cushion with some pins. And when I sewed that all together, it looked like it was coming together. I was very optimistic that this was going to work out. So the next thing I needed to do was get together my PT50 Aero Fastener Pneumatic Stapler. I love this because I can just use the T50 staples. I hook it up to my air compressor and then we're in business. And I put in some of the staples along one side and secured it. And then once I knew that that was in place, it was time to secure the other side. Be sure that you test your project to know which size staple to use. Here I'm using the one quarter staples because I've got a half inch board. Now when I was done, it looked like it was ready for the next piece, which is the back piece. This part I constructed with the piping the exact same way, added a couple of relief cuts there so I could tuck it in, and then I used my stapler to try to secure it to the board. After a few staples, I turned it over and added a few more staples to cover up the half inch board that the seat will sit on on the base. And when I flipped it over, it looked pretty good. Time to move on to the next step, attaching the Lazy Susan turntable. I used a few screws, replaced the old turn style, and used a little bit of sandpaper to rough up the wood and did a nice java gel stain. Just wanted to freshen up the wood a little, didn't want to paint it or do anything like that. Now I did add a quarter inch piece of plywood to the base so that there was enough clearance for the base to turn, for that seat to turn nice without getting stuck on the wood. It was looking amazing. So the last step, and I probably should have removed the top, before I did this, was to just add a couple of coats of top coat. And this is what it looked like before. After, I was loving this. The color is fabulous. Now I'm gonna have a brand new, well, I consider it to be a brand new seat for my sewing table. So if you like this project, be sure to give this a thumbs up. Go to aerofastener.com to find all the tools that I used for this project, and you can find the blog post link down below with all of the materials. Thank you so much for watching, and you can find me at thriftdiving.com.